DFG Science TV. Search for a cure. The fight against forgetting. Zebrafish help understand Alzheimer's. Is it possible to genetically modify a zebrafish in a way that it develops symptoms of Alzheimer's disease? Researchers at the German Center for Neurodegenerative Diseases in Munich are attempting to answer this question. Doctoral researcher Dominique Paquet is one of them. He is trying to modify a zebrafish in a way that it shows signs of Alzheimer's already at a very early stage of development. It would be really cool to create a zebrafish which would show Alzheimer's symptoms already after a couple of days. Because at this stage the fishes are still completely transparent and you can actually look inside them and see what happens. But I don't think it's going to be easy to get the Alzheimer gene into the fish. Nobody's ever done that before. But I've already had a couple of pretty good ideas about how it might work. But it's going to be a great deal of work. But if the whole thing works, we will certainly have made a very big step forward. Before the Alzheimer gene can be injected into a fish, however, Dominic has to prepare the Alzheimer gene tau in a way that the fish can later form this on its own. Not so simple, because to do this, a piece of the human DNA must be cloned into a so-called vector, or a carrier vehicle, which will then combine the tau protein with a luminescent dye in the zebrafish. While he's injecting the new DNA into the fertilized fish eggs, the doctoral researcher must be especially careful. The embryo must not be harmed. Ultimately, the egg is meant to incorporate the foreign DNA into its genetic material to form the Alzheimer gene tau. Dominic will know if his plan has worked if the nerve cells of the injected fish are glowing in red under the fluorescence microscope. The glowing fish larvae are those that carry the Alzheimer gene. The first experiment is unfortunately a failure. None of the larvae lights up. They have not accepted the DNA. Time to start all over again. In the second experiment, the cells do not light up red either. But in the third attempt, something can be detected on the screen. So Dominic, how is it looking then? Pretty good. Found anything? I've now searched through lots of dishes and in one of them I found something. Excellent and I've just taken a picture of it. And I've got three embryos in this one here that are now lit up. I'm now going to have a look at them in detail, so I'll collect them up and then have a look. Mm -hmm. I've been looking for a really long time now, and we've had a few setbacks. But now I've finally found the first few fish in which the Alzheimer's gene lights up. And that means I've finally managed to implant this human gene into the fish. And if I can now show that the fish actually have Alzheimer's symptoms, then we really will have a new animal model, which we can use to better understand the causes of the disease. Has Dominic really managed to develop a new animal model? You'll find out in the next episode. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.